Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know yet, my name is Jessica and on my channel today I'm going to do a couple Halloween treats. Starting off with Betty Crocker Milk Chocolate Brownies and Ghirardelli Chocolate Brownies. I've got all of my decorations here and I'm going to cheat today and use uh, frosting from the store. I can make my own, but I want to show you a quick way of how to do all of this. So the first one I'm going to grab is Ghirardelli. Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli, I don't know how to say it. Ultimate chocolate brownies. And it comes with a syrup and chocolate chips. Syrup and chips. Oh, the chips are in the batter. I'm just gonna mix it up in this little metal bowl right here rather than putting it in my stand-up mixer. So I have to preheat my oven to 325 degrees. Okay, I need a quarter cup of water. A quarter cup of vegetable oil. One egg. that it came with into the brownie mix. Which it looks like a just chocolate syrup but thicker. So I've got my pan here. It's a really old pan and there are just rectangle areas that I lined with my parchment paper, my Timu parchment paper, and I sprayed it with nonstick cooking spray. I'm just gonna grab my ice cream scooper here. <clears throat> I'm 
and do one scoop. halfway I don't want to go any more of that because I don't want it overflow and a mess in my oven Gonna smack this on my little island here a little bit and throw them in the oven. So I am gonna bake these for about 20 to 25 minutes, then check on them because they're not in a whole cake pan, so I'm not sure of how long it's gonna take to bake these because they're single. So I guess I'll just keep an eye on it. But moving on to the next brownie. Okay, now time to start making the Betty Crocker milk chocolate brownies. And for this one, I'm gonna put my batter in the bowl. Well, my mixture, it's, to me it's not considered a batter until you have everything combined. Mixture going into the bowl. Then I have my two tablespoons of water, two eggs, And my vegetable oil. For this one, I am going to need a half cup of vegetable oil. I'm just going to use the quarter cup here that I used earlier. two eggs. take my ice cream scooper again start out with one scoop
in the oven. Okay, I decided I'm gonna wait to put these in the oven because the other ones are in there cooking and they both are supposed to cook at different temperatures. So once those ones are done and I take those out to cool, I'll throw this pan in there and then I'll be right back with you guys after it's all cooled down. Okay, first batch of brownies are done. I'm gonna take my white whipped frosting here and try and create a ghost. Take my sparkled black gel. Now, I kind of want to make a mummy um, on the front of one of these. I don't know if I can get it to look right without all the other stuff that I planned on using for it. Can take my sprinkles here. I've got some little eyeballs in here. I know it don't look perfect, but hey, it resembles a mummy. It's easier to do with like a white on top, but I don't have a white. I have white frosting, just, you know, not the white gel. All right, now to do a skull.
I just do not. So I don't know what that looks like, but it don't look right to me. There's a skull I tried. I'll put one of these eyeballs, candy eyeballs on here. And then grab my blood red glaze. Grab a toothpick. Kind of roll it without gouging the frosting. Try to spread it out. Bring some up on the eyeball. Yeah, I'll use this tip. This isn't the right tip, though. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use the other tip. No, I don't know. I thought I had a grass tip. Oh well. Alright. got my uh, Frankenstein kit here with the hands and sprinkles for the dirt so I'm going to use that I 
I can get it out of the box. First, I'm going to sprinkle these little, uh, yeah, sprinkles, black sprinkles all over this. And then I'm going to take this little hand here stick it in the middle got my little hand in the middle and that's it for that one take some more green here And I've got these gummy eyeballs. Stick right in the middle. I guess I'll stick to green right now. Oh, baby. Are you being funny? I have this very detailed finger. <laughs> Stick it on the top there. Like I said, they're not perfect, they're not the greatest, but it's something. Oops, wrong one. Almost messed that up. Little Frankenstein. Okay, so as you can see, there is a color difference in the brownies. Right here, Ghirardelli, Betty Crocker. Your deli is darker than Betty Crocker's. So I am going to do something else for this.
spider web. Okay, and this one. Oops. I'm gonna take Reese's peanut butter cup. It's a miniature. Stick it in the middle. I have a couple little eyeballs. Put a little bit of that frosting on them. I know spiders have more eyes than that, but <clears throat> it is what it is. Okay guys, well that is going to end this video. Um, I did only make brownies, but I made two different kind of brownies and made a little bit of Halloween decorations, some of them a little gory and some of them a little kid friendly. So uh, yeah, it's pretty easy once you get into it and uh, go, get on a roll. Kind of gives you the motivation to keep going. So I have these other, other brownies back here. I'm just going to leave those plain because not everybody wants something on their brownies and uh let everybody eat them all up so all right guys thanks for giving me some more of your time today and if you have not yet please don't be afraid to subscribe and i'll see you next time